Montgomery Parks partners with many nonprofit organizations. One is the Audubon Naturalist Society. It was founded in the late 1800s and named after John James Audubon, an ornithologist, painter, and naturalist. The society was initially formed to protect birds, but today its advocacy has expanded to include much more. Hi, I'm Kelly Hulsendorf, Communications Director with the Audubon Naturalist Society here in Chevy Chase, Maryland. ANS is the oldest independent environmental organization in the D.C. region. Our focus is on conservation advocacy and environmental education. Well, the Audubon Naturalist Society is actually different from National Audubon. We were founded in 1897 before the national organization, and we focus exclusively on the D.C. metro region, providing conservation advocacy to protect our clean water and nature education for people of all ages. Audubon Natural Society has so many ways for people to get engaged with nature. I like to say we serve people from cradle to grave. We have a nature preschool and we take kids right on through summer camp. We have a partnership with public schools called Green Kids that's delivered more than a million dollars in free environmental education to kids in our own public schools here in Montgomery County. In addition, we have a water quality monitoring citizen science project. It's the oldest one in the region. It's been going on for 25 years, we monitor 20 local streams, and we report to the state and to politicians about what the health of our streams is and how clean our drinking water can be. ANS does work on conservation advocacy, focusing on watershed protection, local clean water in Montgomery County, D.C., and Prince George's in Northern Virginia. And we focus on mobilizing people to protect the trees, forests, and streams right in the neighborhoods where they live. They can join our network of 150 volunteers who go out to our streams and they look in the bottoms of the streams for the living creatures to figure out how healthy that stream is or how polluted. Our environmental education programs offer something for everyone. Our Audubon Nature Preschool serves the littlest naturalists, five years and younger. Students grades K through 12 enjoy field trips with us, camps, and after school nature clubs. So we have programs for uh, all school age children from kindergarten through elementary, middle and high school. We offer field trips for classes, we offer after school programs at the schools, and then we have a very big summer camp and schools out camp program that we do with, which uh, includes everyone from the preschoolers through our teen naturalist training program, which is a leadership development program for teens. And we do all that on the sanctuary here. All of our programs, we are uh, doing hands-on experiential learning about the outdoors. We feel that like, this is the generation of, um, that's going to need to solve a lot of ecological problems, and they can't care about, uh, they can't care about the environment if they don't know it. And so we do outdoor-based programming with all of our programs, either here on the sanctuary or at the school site. So Green Kids is a two-year uh, program with Montgomery County Public Schools in order to help them certify as a Maryland Green School. And so we go in and we do lots of different activities. Um, many hands-on activities, whether we're doing habitat restoration, um, butterfly gardens, uh, salad science. We have a stream science program as well to teach them about their local watershed. And um, we do energy conservation. We'll do many, many different types of activities to help them uh, become a Maryland Green School and to kind of foster that uh, cultural attitude as a school uh, to keep that going. Um, we also do some programs here at uh, the Sanctuary at Woodend, and we are either um, working with kids in some very hands-on ways, we're almost always outdoors, and we are doing a lot of uh, programming that is related to the Montgomery County curriculum uh, with an environmental base. And we also take those programs uh, out to the schools themselves. 
The Nature Preschool offers very unique programs for children aged five and younger. We offer traditional drop-off programs on our 40-acre nature preserve. Look at how many colors we have on this table. The preschool is located in the old gatehouse, which is on the Audubon property. Uh, it's a one classroom building that we've renovated eight years ago um, that is very accessible, has children's natural items that the children can explore. Who would like to hold a worm? Me. Here you go, sweetheart. We're able to explore the meadow and the woods. We have the bamboo forest. We also would love to dip nets in the pond. The children use their sense of wonder to really explore and learn about the world in a way that is self-directed. And so the teachers act as guides as they're learning, but the children are able to learn about the natural world at their own pace. Nature novice adults and experienced naturalists find opportunities with ANS to explore and learn more about our area's natural history. Well, we have a whole range of adult programs from casual strolls along the canal to actually pretty vigorous hikes along the Appalachian Trail. You can join us for an hour or two or for a full day or even a weekend at places like Cape May. Um, we look at trees, we look at birds. We even look at little tiny frogs, spring peepers. So we might get folks out in April when it's raining, we put on raincoats and boots, and we go out and we look for these little frogs. I mean, why should kids have all the fun, right? The Natural History Field Studies program is really for folks who want to dig a little deeper or wade a little deeper into nature. So the classes last a whole uh, quarter. They're evening classes, you have field trips, and you really look at nature from, um, from a college freshman level, but with the fun of field trips and being out in the field with other folks who really like nature as well. I'm lucky enough to get paid to take people to places like Costa Rica and Ecuador, or even places like Yellowstone um, and places closer. So people can either take short field trips with us or a longer field trip. And again, travel with people of like mind, like interest, and who enjoy being outside and having fun. So we've looked at the advocacy and environmental education sides of ANS, but still there's more. We have plenty of volunteer opportunities, a one-of-a-kind shop right here on the premises, and plenty of people choose Wooden for celebrating their most special occasions. ANS does a lot of our mission work through the use of volunteers. We have over 550 volunteers who work in our four major mission areas. A lot of what we are able to accomplish is through the help of our volunteers. Uh, they span the ages. We've worked with preschool groups, we've had soccer teams, we've had Fulbrights come out for a day, international students who are here just for the day. You're standing in our Blair Native Garden. We have a lot of volunteers who come out and monitor this garden. We're doing a meadow restoration project through volunteers. In our education, we have a Green Kids program where volunteers will go out and get in the stream studies with the kids. We also run a Master Naturalist Volunteer Training. That's through the University of Maryland Extension Program. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to have really talented volunteers who train for seven weeks, 60 hours of training, and then they commit to volunteering back with us for 40 hours. And we've been able to do a lot of great project work with them. Well, this is the Audubon Sanctuary Shop. It's a bookstore primarily, but it's also a gift shop. It's a nature-themed store. Birdseed is our biggest seller. Birdseed and bird feeding supplies. But we do sell a lot of books. Books about places all around the world. We sell uh, guides, we sell children's books, and we do sell a lot of binoculars too. Mostly people rent wood in for weddings, but also uh, birthday parties, conferences, holiday parties, um, anniversary parties, uh, bar and bat mitzvahs. The uh, rentals include the Great Hall, the living room, the tenant terrace, and the surrounding grounds. 
photographers love to come to Wood End. There's so much background outside and inside with the architecture. And then outside, there are just wonderful trees and lots of places for pictures. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about ANS. Please visit us here at Wooden. It's a 40 acre jewel inside the Beltway. While you're here, you'll enjoy the Blair Native Plant Garden and our walking trails. They are open daily from dawn to dusk. Leave your pets at home though. To find out more about the Audubon Naturalist Society, please call 301-652-9188 or go to anshome.org.